I'm starting my day off with a cup of tea because that's what I love. So I always have a cup of tea. I'm gonna show you my favorite way to make the folded vegan just egg. I'm gonna steam it. So you add a little water in, add your smear basket. I add some oil spray so it doesn't stick. Add the folded egg and then the lid on top and then you bring it over to the stove and let that cook for a few minutes. I'm gonna make a little wrap. So I'm using a car balanced tortilla, some tofurkey slices in there. And then I also was gonna make a little yogurt bowl. So I have the silk vanilla yogurt and then something happened. Oh my goodness, you guys. So I was in the middle of filming breakfast. I'm like showing you and I'm sorry I look Terrible. I wasn't planning to be on camera right this second. I was gonna come on later, but whatever. I'm telling you the story. So last week we were supposed to get a new fridge delivered because the house that we are in, the fridge was like messing up. Like it was like freezing stuff in the fridge. It was melting stuff in the freezer. And we told our landlord we like needed a fridge. He's like, okay, cool. Like I'll get you guys one. Awesome, great. They were supposed to come last Thursday. They claim they came. They claim they sat in the driveway for 20 minutes. I was like, I've been home. Like you did not sit in the driveway for 20 minutes. I have three dogs. They bark at literally everything. They bark at everything. You don't think they would have had their heads going crazy? Like, and they said they knocked on the door. I was like, I, again, I was home, never heard knock on the door. Okay, whatever, fine. So then they were scheduled to come on Saturday. Then they rescheduled again to come on Sunday. Sunday we had like a snowstorm. So then they were scheduled to come today, which is Tuesday. Okay, fine. They were supposed to come between 10 and 2. So it was like 9. 30 when I started filming breakfast. I was like, oh, perfect. Like I have a half hour, I'll eat, and then like I'll be done. 9.45, they're here, which like fine, whatever. But like, I was like, oh my goodness. Cause I had everything in the fridge. I need to get it out. Like I was gonna do it right after I ate. So now I'm like chucking everything on the counter, throwing everything. I'm like, hey guys, give me one second. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, sure, no worries. And whatever. So then I got everything out of the fridge. You put the new fridge in, I put everything back in the fridge. So this has been sitting on the counter now for like a half hour, 40 minutes, but whatever. We'll resume breakfast. I'm going to show you how to keep making that just egg. But yeah, like always, like if I hadn't like started filming, you know that they would have not come till like two o'clock. But because I was filming, you know, they, 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 that's why they came early, which like it's nothing on that. But I was just like, ah, all right, back to breakfast. Back to breakfast, that was so dramatic of me. I'm adding some Catalina Crunch and some blueberries on top of my vegan yogurt. So now the only thing is that that vegan just egg did sit around for a while. So I had to like warm it back up again. It also gets very slippery, so be careful. I'm gonna add some vegan cheese on top I'm using the Vitalite one and just put a little bit, like I did like eight grams, I think 10 grams, and then pop the lid back on and bring it back over to the stove. Steaming it helps the vegan cheese to melt so good. Look at Roxy. Okay, so then this happened, it fell off my spatula. It was not my morning, guys. It was not my morning. So then all the cheese came off. It was fine though. It was fine. I had my hot sauce on and we folded it up and I ate it and it was still delicious, but it just wasn't my morning and that's okay and then i had some clementines on the side and my little yogurt bowl that we made and then i finally got to have my cup of tea and this was such a good breakfast i love it it's so satisfying and so delicious for these colder months i have makeup on now because i was filming some stuff for planfully based and now i look hopefully a little less scarier than i did earlier no i'm teasing i wasn't scared looking i just I was not ready to film yet when I started talking to you guys, but I just need to let you know the drama. So let's do a quick little catch up before I make lunch. Okay, first of all, real quick though, actually, I'm going to eat this. I made this. <laughs> guys, I'm being crazy again. So I made this for Planfully Based because it's I'm doing a cheese video. So this is my cauliflower mozzarella. This recipe is actually already like on YouTube. It's in my cookbook and stuff, but I'm making like a video like cheese recipes you need to know like vegan cheese recipes you need to know so let's just do like a little catch up like what's going on happy new year happy 2024 last time i saw you guys was a little while ago i told you i was moving in my boyfriend uh we are here in the house i've just been like adjusting to life you know in the winter it's so hard for me to wake up and i feel like here i'm sleeping really late i'm sleeping till like 7 45 8 o'clock some days which like i feel like I wasn't doing that, but I don't know. It's like just been dark in the mornings. And I mean, obviously that's winter. I've been doing my best to like keep up with my workouts. And you know, now that the new year has started, I really wanted to get back into my routine. So I've been doing my best to keep up with calorie deficit eating. My goal uh, for this year is to really finally be done with my weight loss journey. I am really tired. <laughs> Of being on this journey and I think you know if you've ever been on weight loss journey, you can relate to that and I think you know when I was younger I had a friend who's a little older than us you know she graduated like two years ahead of us and she came back to visit me we were like oh my gosh hi how are you how's college like how's being you know a college girly and she said to me and I'll never forget this and it's so true she goes everybody is either talking about being on a diet or is on a diet and that's what it is for the rest of your life and I think like 
you know, especially for women, unfortunately, that is a very true thing. And I'm just, I'm ready to be done. So I'm going to give it my all, you know, the best I can and do what I can. Progress, not perfection. Probably until the end of the summer. And then kind of wherever I am from there, I think I'm just going to call it quits on the weight loss aspect. Not, of course, on the health aspect, not, of course, on the working out aspect, eating ample amounts of plant protein, but just on the, like, trying to be in a calorie deficit. I want to start eating, you know, I want to, like, reverse diet and get back into normal amount of calories. We have steps before we get there. We're not getting there yet. That's, like, end of August, early September. Right now, I am hoping to lose a certain amount of weight. I don't even want to talk about it because I feel like if I don't lose it, I don't want to like let you guys down or let myself down, but I have a number that I'd like to reach. We'll see if it gets there. I've also been like adjusting to like working out in a different space because now I go to the gym a few days a week, but I also work out here because I have a walking pad like that also transforms into a treadmill. It's been good because like this morning I woke up and I had a phone call at nine o'clock this morning. The fridge was coming. So I was like, you know, what? I'm just going to walk on the walking pad. It's also been great for just while I do work too. So that's been good. And I can like take my Peloton running classes and the boot camp classes with that. So I could still like do the Peloton stuff that I love. The gym that I joined is really great. It's a small gym. It's mostly older people. It's not very busy. The other day, actually, I was working out at one point and I looked and just like there was a few people around and all of a sudden nobody was around like in the weight area that I was in. Like everyone had just left. I like that because I'm not like struggling to get on a machine and like fighting people. You know what I mean? Or like feel like, oh, like I, I can't take time in between my reps and stuff. And it's not like a fancy gym or anything, but it has what I need and that's good enough. I'm focusing, I'm changing things around. I'm gonna do two upper body days, one leg day, two cardio days, and then like an active recovery and then a full on rest. Um, I'm doing two upper body days because in all honesty, I carry a lot of muscle in my legs already. So I'm more concerned about building my back, some of my arms, but even less my arms too, because my shoulders are getting like very big. <laughs> um, so I could just, you know, I wanna, just build the upper body more but i still want to do a leg day and because i do a lot of running and walking and stuff you know your legs get naturally worked out that way as well so yeah we're gonna make lunch i don't know what i want to make i saw this girl on tiktok earlier eating like a buffalo chicken melt and i was like oh that would be fun to maybe like grate some tofu and do that so maybe we'll do that and i'll have my <laughs> my pizza this was like the saddest little pita pizza but i just wanted to show it being used but like like look at how baby this slice is this is the tiniest little piece of pizza my goals for this channel for this year i want to do three videos a month for you guys you know some of them will be vloggy like this where we do like what i eat in a days and like kind of just catch up and track on progress some will be recipes um yeah so that's life that's the update that's what's going on let's make some lunch so I took like a piece of tofu that I had. I'm using super firm tofu and I'm just going to grate it the best I can without potentially cutting myself because you always have to be so careful when you grate tofu, especially when you get to the end. So just be careful. And if you've never grated tofu before, it's so good. So then I put it into a bowl and I was like, okay, what am I going to like add with this? Because I didn't really know what I was doing. So I, of course, added my buffalo sauce obviously, because that was like step number one, we're making a buffalo melt. Then I added in some garlic powder and some onion powder because, you know, those are always a good go-to. And then I was like, I'm going to add in some Kite Hill vegan cream cheese because I have it in the fridge and I feel like I got to use it. I feel like it'd be good in there. And then I added in some vegan yogurt to help like make it a little bit creamy. And then I just mixed it together. I tasted it and I just added in some more seasonings if I wanted. I think I just did like a little more garlic powder. I have a piece of sourdough bread and then I'm just going to pop that on there and this was so easy to make this would be such a good meal like for any time of day honestly I would eat this for breakfast added some vegan Colby Jack cheese on there and then I popped this in the oven at like 350 for like five minutes 10 minutes and then I broiled it a little bit had some peppers on the side added some more hot sauce and that was so good so good I definitely recommend making it and then this is like so special because this flavor is discontinued and I like save these for special occasions so it was a special occasion today because I was filming so then it was dinner time and I made some protein pasta and a field row sausage I kind of just like took a whole mix of things I wanted some hearts of palm so I started by cutting the sausage into little pieces I like to cut it in half and then I can like pull the plastic off it's very annoying to get the plastic off of these for some reason so I pull the plastic off and then I like to cut it into like little thin pieces because it gets really crispy in the pan and it is so good these are the Italian ones I can't remember if I said that or not 
And so I pop those in my pan and then I just like pop that on the stove to cook it. I really love the Phil Rose sausages. They're seitan based. They're so good. And then I had some snap peas. I just microwave these so they would get nice and soft. Cooked my pasta once the water was boiling. Checked on my sausages and I just cook these over like a low heat, but they get really crispy. It's just so good. And then I love hearts of palm. So I opened up my little hearts of palm can. I can never get the little opener with my nails. I have to do it with a knife first. So then I pulled it back took out my little hearts of palm and I cut them into pieces and I love hearts of palm so much and I don't love them because people think that they taste like string cheese I just like them I just think they're good I like to cut them into like quarters sometimes they like come out of each other but it's fine I don't know I just kind of like to cut them up it makes it easier for eating them and I love to put balsamic glaze on them which if you've never had balsamic glaze just like thick balsamic vinegar that's been heavily reduced down so I'm just gonna drizzle that on top my sausages were done then I pop my little sugar snap peas in. Obviously, you could eat these raw, but I just like them better when they're a little bit cooked. I don't know. They come out like a little bit softer, which I personally like. My pasta was done, and then I added some tomato sauce on there. I'm using the one from Mazetta. It's pretty good, but the Rayos is definitely my favorite. And just mix that up. It's not very exciting. I add that into my little bowl, and you know, you should always make food feel special. I always still like to plate things nicely, even if I'm just eating by myself and it's a mishmash of things. And then I'm going to add some red pepper flakes on there and there we go that was dinner look at that bowl look how beautiful that looks so good okay for dessert i was being lazy because i was on the phone so i had some catalina crunch my favorite some ripple pea protein milk a little clementine and then i made a cup of tea and that was my day hello it is the next day i wanted to just wrap this video up for you guys last night i ended up talking on the phone to my friend from college and we just always have the best time we like crack up we laugh the whole time it's great so yesterday total calories 1640 117 protein 199 carbs 58.6 fat so that's great where i want to be um i don't care too much about carbs and fat i care about calories and protein and wherever the carbs and fat lie in that that's where they lie usually it's around 200 grams of carbs and usually it's around like 55 to 60 grams of fat something else i'm doing that i didn't really tell you guys about i post about it on instagram on the plant flea francesca instagram but i've been doing a yoga challenge this month so in the month of december i did like a five minute ab workout every day challenge and this month i was like all right i think i want to do a, like a five to ten minute yoga class every day i actually <laughs> did not do my yoga yesterday because i just i got busy and things got sidetracked so i did a 20 minute class today to make up for it you know whatever it's my little challenge i can do what i want but i've been liking doing that because i am really bad at stretching i never stretch and i feel like you know i'm 31 i'm not old but i'm older and it's so important to keep like your flexibility and your mobility and everything like that so and it's also been very good for me mentally, I think, um, just kind of like really turning my brain off and focusing on that yoga class, even if it is just a five minute shavasana, like it just really helps. So that's my day of eating. That was everything we had. Always yummy, always really good. Make that buffalo tofu melt because it was really good. I really liked it. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye.